What's up everyone, my name is Alice and a happy new year. Probably by the time this is up, it is pretty close to New Year's. So I just want to wish you guys happy new year for sure. And with every new year, you have resolutions. And in 2018, I made a pretty big one. Oh, this tablet doesn't want to work, but I just wanted to focus. I wanted more focus, I just wanted to be more, less ADHD. And now, it kind of came true. I got a whole lot calmer, for sure. But uh, this year has been a crazy year. Um, have I been able to focus more on YouTube? Not really, so I'm not going to say that I absolutely passed those. So, I'm just going to grab it real quick. I didn't really make any resolutions for this year except for to stay more organized. So that is why I got a bullet journal and just starting to hopefully get more organized. Like, if, I don't know if it can show probably like resolutions, goals and like my personal stuff. And... I only have like a long-term goal and one simple resolution that like everybody has, like drink more water. So kind of to inspire myself, what are you guys' resolutions? Because I have no idea. I mean, of course, I just want to be more healthy and lose a little bit of weight and get more muscle. And of course I have goals, but we're going to talk more about my goals later and because uh, I just wanted to flash back first Ooh, if it works and at first I just want to go back to January because in January I was still Ooh, I should have practiced more in a nursing internship it feels so weird to talk about it because it has been nearly a year ago like like one year ago exactly I was still working in the nursing home busting my ass off for what we now know has been a terrible dream it it didn't work out it's not it wasn't ever going to work out but I still wanted to be a nurse kind of still want to but that is not going to happen <sighs> so yeah that was a shame and it uh, I don't know I've never felt more humiliated during that time because I was getting scolded at like every minute every minute they were like no 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 you have to do it this way that way this you're not sociable enough you're not human minded enough basically all what they were saying is you're not enough and I really hate that sentence like you can always grow in the direction you want to go in if you have enough passion if you think you can do it you're going to be able to do it but they just kept going at it and going at it and at the same time I think everybody knows that my health is terrible my health has been really, really, like, fickle. So now we're landing in February. I quit uh, my nursing course. Ooh, I maybe I should just pick a smaller brush as well. There we go. And then I went to the E. And T part of the hospital. So, ear. Ugh, maybe I should just stop trying to draw with the tablet. I mean, this works better. Like the ear, nose. Ooh, it's irresponsive. I should fix it. And throat doctor. That's what ENT stands for. Um. And that was also just to find out if I had any sleep disorders because I'm also like always tired and of course 
It is part of my other disease like fibromyalgia that you're always tired because you're always adjusting and with hypermobility syndrome you're like you're always like using your muscles to keep your bones in place and yeah so they wanted to make sure that there was nothing else behind it and I'm a restless sleeper I disloc dislocate some joints in my sleep and then I'm just set up back and nothing nothing is wrong and that is going to bring me to ooh, I'm just going to do it like this that's going to bring me to March in March I dislocated my elbow and it was an accident it was a jiu-jitsu accident as you guys know I trained like jiu-jitsu for six years now so I I had an accident with that somebody with the hip just scooped my elbow out of place and that was that that also meant that my YouTube was on hold so that was terrible that actually was really really terrible I hated it and like at the same time I've learned a lot because in March it was also the beginning of just sitting at home doing nothing getting bored and that was something I was really afraid of because in 2018 I had a gap year so 17 that school year I had a gap year and I was bored out of my mind but it was also really good for YouTube since I had the time to do what I wanted and what I needed but now with the dislocated elbow I couldn't do anything and uh, this kind of feels like it happens like every time but in April I'm just in April I got this cutest boy like this is a really really old yeah it is from April 13 I got this cute boy like everybody knows him now it's Bino he's super cute super adorable you can hear him in nearly every video awesome highlight of this year so and then we get to a worst part in May a really good friend of mine like ended up being in the ICU so I was so stressed out and like in my mind I was like oh the previous month I've been terrible at YouTube I can slack off again because I was so stressed and chaotic and oof. it was it was a really hard like first half year like now we're in month five already in just in a freaking ICU and I had to travel back and forth every day just to be there and it, it was terrible and like emotional draining but luckily everything turned out fine and there are no problems now so eh, it's okay it could have been like way 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 worse but flash forward like in June and July nothing really happened like I don't really remember anything of those two months it flew by I mean I was also stressing for my driver's license and I passed it um, like for the second time like I failed also like in the first half year but, like 12 weeks before the second exam I failed the first one so that was really awesome really liked it but then, it, meanwhile, I was really trying to find a new course that I liked. And I figured out, like, I'm already on YouTube. Why not do CMD, Communication Multimedia Design? And I actually like it. And that is actually really, really great. And that also brings me to a crossroad. But first, I just want to talk about the other cutest boy we have, Chuki. 
I don't know if you guys have ever heard of him or seen him, but he is the shyest, cutest boy there is. Like, oh my gosh, he does even though he doesn't really dare to come to us, he's still such a sweet boy. Really amazing, really amazing boy. But they didn't get along at first, so we just had to start. We had to separate them again, and that was heartbreaking in a way. I mean, because Bino really loved him and wanted to stay with him all the time and all the time, and he was too overbearing, and Chuki couldn't like settle. So we had to separate them. Um, like this, actually, oh, you can see like the mess of what we're living. But yeah, this is how we had to separate them. I and mean, you can see that Bino is like, oh my gosh, I want to go there. But I can, but oh. So yeah, that was a bit stressful in a way because they also kept screaming towards each, each other and I couldn't record and ooh. But at the same time, I was going to university and the first block and like learning the new course and what well, that is all about because that's really really confusing <laughs> in a way because uh, even though the course is communication multimedia design the first thing we learned was Arduino and Arduino was coding like we learned like a mix of C plus C sharp Java I don't even know what Arduino is for language I mean it doesn't really exist in any other game or that, but it was just the start of programming. And in a way, I really liked it. I really liked it, but with going to university, it also includes extra tiredness and extra physical problems. Um, that has actually been like the red line of my 2019 physical health issues. <laughs> But I'm not going to stop that because currently I'm on a freaking crossroad. I don't. I really don't know what to do. Because at first I just also want to be a jujitsu teacher. I mean, I love it. It is freaking amazing. I love moving around, teaching, feeling confident with it. It is great. Um, even though this is not a full career, it is something I can do on the side, but that is something I really want to do because you also need to be a black belt. Um, and beyond, you need to be like second uh, done, as it is called, um, to be the teacher for this. Um, that is also really like really hard and it's going to be time consuming. So I don't know if I should focus on this. But at the same time, I also want to continue with like university and I am going to complete it, that's for sure. But from what I want to do, because I've seen a really amazing job that I can do in like five years, but it will take like a little bit longer and more time and with that means that I can't do more YouTube than I'm already doing. Maybe even less and that is really terrible because I really love, I love, love, love YouTube, but it is a really crazy and really hard, hard, hard career path and I never saw it as a career uh, and it's probably never going to be but I still I mean every person can dream right so I'm I'm like am I going to combine these two or am I going to do this or am I going to do this like only work ditch YouTube Jiu to and the job. I mean, because for the job, I need to be able to program. That is something that I really want. I mean, I'm writing like a doctor right now with this, and I need to be really awesome with Adobe to be able to do that. It is a semi game studio, but they also develop VR and AR. And if you're Dutch, um, the Albert Heijn. 
campaign with the dinosaur and the AR game that I made. That is what that studio did. And it is really, really close by to where I live. And I really, I really want to work there. But they really want like Adobe and being able to program in C Sharp. And that's a totally new language I have to learn. So it is all going to be like a balancing act and I, I really don't know what to choose. So yeah, actually that is just going to be my goal for 2020. What am I going to do on this crossroad I am in? And how am I going to juggle all, the, all those things because I'm just so confused. I am so confused on what I want to do and what I'm going to do. But at the same time, in 2020, I do want to show you guys Temtem. Temtem, it's going to be a game I'm going to absolutely love. I love Pokemon. I've played Pokemon Shield. It's amazing. I love it. Let's see what Temtem has to offer. I'm going to continue Pixar. Picks art because well everybody seems to love it and I want to see the boss I want to see what I was so excited about like the very very first episode but my biggest goal for YouTube is to involve uh, you guys I just want to make this channel a little bit more like a family again I mean in the beginning I gave a whole lot to you guys and it actually nearly made me quit. I felt so insecure about my channel so I took the reins back but I think it took the reins back a little bit too much. I haven't been involving you guys as much as I want and even though I'm a type of person that likes to stay in control maybe I need to give a little bit of control back because YouTube only works together in harmony with the creator and the viewers otherwise it just doesn't work so what do you guys want to see in 2020 what do you guys want to be involved in and what do you guys want to do because there is one other thing i want to do and remake and that is my banner and i want to make a new logo i want to change those two I feel like I have matured, I've been, I'm a different person now than I was four years ago. I believe I started four years ago. Something like that. Um, I've matured, I've grown up. And I want a new banner and a logo that supports that. So if you guys have ideas or something else and you, or you want to sketch an idea or something like that, post it in T Art. I'm totally curious what you guys are going to think of it and what you guys want to see and maybe I will make it better in Illustrator and make it a real banner and of course with credits and everything I mean that will be it will be really awesome if that happens so yeah <laughs> I think I've dropped a bomb here and I've been really talking like a lot, maybe for 15 minutes now. I don't know, I have to edit some parts out, but... Oh gosh, 2019 has been a really, really low year. I mean, on YouTube, personally, I've been so weird. So, in 2020, I'm going to make it my year again. I'm going to take control back. I'm not going to let anything like knock me down again. I'm going to follow through, finish Pixar, make it a whole series I can be proud of. Same with Temtem. And I'm going to look more into video ideas of what you guys want to see. And I'm going to try and implement maybe once a month, maybe once in two weeks, a live stream where you guys can tag along, where you guys can play with me, like games like Warframe and Temtem, it's probably possible. Things like that. I want to involve you guys again. I just want to have a community 
and not just this small set of friends again. I mean, I just want to grow and I don't really want to have like a subscriber goal for 2020. But we'll see where 2020 lands on that part. I mean, my ultimate goal is that I can afford games from YouTube money. That is like my only long-term goal. So I play games to make games to play games to make games. If you guys get what I mean. Hopefully this video hasn't been too drama, too sad, too poor. Because I'm really, really curious towards 2020 and I really hope you guys are as well. Again, I wish you guys have a lovely 2020. Happy New Year to you guys. See you in 2020. Bye bye.